Boys, we got a new ASIC to review. What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here. And in today's video, I'm extremely excited to finally be able to review the HS Lite. This is from Gold Shell and it cost about $3,300. So we're gonna hit a lot of different things. But firstly, let me say thank you so much to Red Panda. Red Panda Mining actually reviewed this. So please check out his video, link in the description below. Dude, Red Panda, I just wanna take a minute to say thank you so much, man. Like this is a $3,000 system and you chose us to send this to to review. And honestly, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have this opportunity. You know, I don't really have $3,000 to waste or I don't wanna call it waste. We'll find out more throughout the video. But you know, I didn't really have $3,000 to take a gamble on a system like this. So dude, thank you so much. So obviously I was able to see Red Panda Mining's video two or three times actually. So I really wanted to hit on points that Red Panda Mining uh, hit on, but I also want to do it in my own way. And there's some other things that I want to focus on in my video to give it a little bit of a different twist. So some of the things I will be hitting on in this video is how loud is this thing? You know, can you do this as an at-home miner? Uh, what is the cost? Do I recommend this? I mean, what is it capable of doing? I'm not going to focus on really the setup of it. Again, you can watch his video if you want to see like the setup, but I'm going to focus more on you guys. Like, what are you thinking in your mind? Or what do I think that you're thinking and you know, maybe I can answer a lot of those questions or hopefully some of those questions for you. And so actually this is able to go on two algorithms or rather mine two coins. So the first one is Handshake and the next one is Sia Coin. So originally when Gold Shell announced that they were gonna have ASICs for at-home miners, you know, with no noise, or not no noise, but really low noise, I was extremely excited. I had no idea what the coins were and now we know that it's Sia Coin, which I'm actually more interested in, and also Handshake. Now to give you a size comparison, over here on our left is a Koi miner. This is a BTC miner. This thing costs like, I don't know, $7,000, give or take on when you buy it. And over here is gonna be the new gold shell. So you can see it is definitely smaller for sure. I mean, there's no doubt. Now to touch on sound, this Koi miner, this ASIC miner, you know, if you look at the S19J or something, these things sounds like jet engines, you know? If you don't have this in your garage or you have neighbors, forget about it. But this right here, absolutely no problems. I'd say from 10 feet away, I legitimately can't even hear it. I'm probably two and a half to three feet away and it just barely has a sound. Almost like the sound when you have a rig and you just have like one or two fans running, maybe like your PC fan, like that's pretty much as loud as it is. It is definitely producing some heat and to be fair there's really no exhaust in this room but yeah absolutely there's some heat for sure I definitely would not want this I think so far by my computer I know they did advertise it that you could pretty much put it on your desk and I'm sure you could it would run but I have to say it definitely would produce way too much heat by my computer to where I would feel comfortable having that now something interesting with this ASIC miner compared to like your normal BTC or probably a lot of other ASICs is that you can actually run this on 120 volts. So Red Panda Mining sent this to me. Uh, I did test it, it worked just fine, but really I have 240, so why not use the 240? But that is something to consider, you know? If you do see a coin, it's gonna run around 900 watts, give or take. And if you do handshake, it's gonna be about 12, 1250. So, you know, you wouldn't wanna do that obviously with other things in the room. And I still would never really recommend 120, but you know, for see a coin, it is possible you can do it i guess if you had a 20 amp you, you could do all that you know and you could do it on a 15 again not recommended for me personally but yeah that option is there here's the other side of the miner i can't think of the name of these i know the koi miner has four of these i, I don't know if you want to call it coil or whatever you want to call it feel free in the description below let me know what you call it that's pretty much what a normal ace would have this does have those they're deep in there it's kind of hard to see but yeah, I mean, very small, very compact. And uh, as far as size goes, like it's not that bad to be honest. So to get back to sound, which again, I think is just such a concern for most people. Let me show you what the Octo Miner sounds like when you start this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's 100% fans guys on the Octo Miner. And this is the sound of my Octo Miner on 80% fans. And I'd say again, I'm about three feet away. All right, so first we're going to be testing out HNS. You actually have two options here. This is over on the Gold Shell app. I had to use uh, IP or Advanced IP Finder. So Handshake. So I don't want to focus too much on Handshake because as you can see here, this is uh, using ASIC minor value. It's only making 245 a day. That's what it's saying here. Don't get confused up here with these numbers because these are both combined. It's almost saying that it's dual mining, which it's not. So just to be clear, we're getting $2.45 at a 10 cent electric rate. So it's, you know, 
it's decent it's not the worst thing in the world but you know it is using 1250 watts what's more appealing for me and something that i'm more interested in is the sia coin sia but right now we are just focusing on the handshake so coming over to gold shell what are they actually saying that you should be getting for handshake it says you should be getting about 1360 giga hash and you can see here um, we are getting 1367 so anywhere in that ballpark i've seen it go up and down just a little bit but yeah i mean as far as what they say you should get i am definitely getting you'll see here 1334 14 some 12s there but it's averaging to about 1368 so slightly better than what they did advertise as far as the wattage the pdu that i'm using doesn't actually show me the amps or anything so i'm just gonna say yeah it's probably doing that i, I would imagine it's perfectly fine with about 1250 on the watts i am using f2 pool today just because i've used that for my bitcoin asic and i do like f2 pool and this is reading about the same. Here's the 1600 line right across. So yeah, we're pretty much right there. It's much slower on this end than it is in the actual gold shell IP link. But yeah, I mean, you can pretty much see the same results. Even on the 15 minute, it's saying we're getting 1727. You know, we were getting 1592. So yeah, I do believe it. It's about, you know, where it should be. And everything looks pretty solid on what they're claiming that you should get. All right, guys, now let's look at Sia coin. Again, this is the one I've been the most excited for. We're getting 2,947 giga hash. And over here on ASIC minor value, the gold shell section here, it'll say that Sia should get about 2.9. So we're getting a little bit above that as well at 700 watts. And we should be making about $4.78. So one thing a little bit misleading, if you look at this in its totality, it says you'll make $6.46 a day. That's not actually true. You really need to look at both of these broken down. And I don't know any reason why someone would go for handshake over Sia coin. It just wouldn't make sense to me. I mean, look at that. That's double what you'd be making on Handshake. And you'll see here, I let this run for a couple hours. Very steady, uh, exactly what we were supposed to get. And I'm actually very happy with the results. It's not like they're false advertising or anything. So if that's what you were looking for with Sia Coin, yeah, you're getting exactly what you would have paid for. So going back to Gold Shell website, I mean, you compare the two here. What would you do, guys? Which coin would you go for? The 700 water that's paying you much more or the 1250 water not even close to as efficient and you're making half the money? I mean, it's common sense, guys. You're going to go for Sia coin. Also for Sia coin, it's a little bit different. I had to use a web wallet when I found from uh, Red Panda's older videos. The website is wallet.siacentra.com. So wallet.siacentral.com. No payouts yet. It's pretty basic. There's really not much to it. And we've made 0.0118 SIA coin. All right, so let's go ahead and do profitability. Let's look at it. Is this a good buy for you? Is this a good buy to me? Handshake, you're only making $2.45 after power because it has 1,250 watts. Like that's insane, that's a lot. And yeah, it's quiet, but is it really worth it to get $2.45? I mean, I could get a 3080 and just about get that. So for me, not so great. And then a month, $73.50. A year, $882. That's terrible. This thing costs 3,300, give or take, plus shipping. I mean, it'll take you over three years to get your money back if you do handshakes. So this, no, absolutely not. Handshakes got to go. Now, see a coin. See a coins where things start to get a little bit more interesting. And I was actually incorrect. It's 700 watts. I think I said 900 earlier. See a coin has got a little bit of potential now that I've been looking into it. We're making $4.78 after power, guys. That's after power at 700 watts. That's $143 a month. Now, a 3090, I think it's uh, 370-ish, three, oh, yeah we'll call it four dollars just to say it. so four dollars with 30 90 but that's at only 300 watts right so but again this is after power so 143 dollars and then that's almost you know two thousand dollars a year so 1720 so this would take you about two years if sia coin never shot up and you know that's actually not as bad would i still recommend it based off of two years Probably not, though Sia coin has some potential because it's actually down pretty bad now. It's not like it's mooning right now. So if this thing ever shot up, you know, if Bitcoin uh, shoots up, it's going to carry all these coins. And I would imagine that using something like Sia, you know, it would make that two year break even into, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe even potentially a year. 
So I always try to keep it real with you guys, man, because I know some Timmy out there is wondering, is this a good buy? It sounds great. They saw the photos. Maybe they've seen the videos on it. Is this a solid recommendation? $1,720. I mean, you know, that's almost paid off half of itself in a year. So is it the worst thing for an ASIC? Honestly, it's not the worst thing ever. It's really not the worst thing. So two years to get your money back. Yeah, it's okay. It's an okay buy. Like it's kind of like the Doge miner, the Litecoin miner, at least those dual miners though right those are about a two-year break even as well so if someone's recommending you the dogecoin miner the boss coin miner something like that i mean it's kind of in the same ballpark but with a totally different coin that i've personally never heard of i don't know what sia is i don't know what handshake is though looking into sia you know just looking at the chart it looked like it had a lot more potential than say the handshake because the handshake is just hotter it's you know it's just a lot worse to deal with and uh sia yeah i could definitely see having a little bit of potential but that's really speculation and it's up to you if you feel like that's going to go anywhere. I think a fairer price for a product like this would be about $1,700, like one year. If this was one year, you know, or even $2,000, I would definitely say buy it, man. Absolutely. I think it'd be worth the risk. You know, if you would have held on to Kadena back in the day, like I think Red Panda would have been up $700,000. Not even kidding. Like I'm actually serious, but he ended up selling it before the huge bull run. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. You could have been a millionaire, but, but in all seriousness, no, like uh, at this price, it's okay. It's okay. I, I would recommend it if, if, you know you just got a lot of extra cash laying around you want to take the chance maybe you think something will happen with it but as far as like making a good decision a solid and intelligent smart wise decision is it uh, probably not at this moment and again that could change guys it really could i don't know but if you're going for handshake coin oh no absolutely not but see a coin yeah a little bit of potential there i could see that for sure something else to consider bitcoin right now is forty four thousand dollars and not long ago bitcoin was what 36 738 you know and i'm sure at that point uh, it wasn't very good it wasn't the most profitable thing in the world even see a coin being the better coin of the two so you know just consider it guys like is it worth it for you for me i won't be buying it i don't think it's worth the risk i have enough things going on in the gpu world and looking at other asics really that i'm more interested in but uh you know it might be worth it for you but yeah not for me in my situation but dude, Red Panda, I love you so much, man. Seriously, and uh, I'm, j I'm just so grateful, man. You, I mean, you seriously could have sent this to anybody. You know, people with 50,000 subscribers, uh, 40,000. There's people with 100,000 you could have sent it to. And you chose me, man, the little guy. That means a lot, man. That just that says a lot about you, Red Panda. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, man, I just want to say once again, thank you so much. E everybody says good things about you, man, whether that's viewers, YouTubers. Uh, I mean, everybody's saying solid things about you because you're a solid guy, man. You do a lot for the community, and you were definitely... I think the second person I ever saw, the first person I ever saw, I, I believe was Serpent X. So, because I was watching how to install Awesome Miner. But uh, hey, you're awesome in your own way, man. And I love you so much for that, dude. In summary, if you're a gambling man, maybe this is for you. I'm not really going to be gambling on it, though I will be using this for at least a week. And I'm going to get a little bit of Sia coin because you never know down the road, man, spec mining. You never know what could happen with this coin. So, Panda, I'm going to keep it for the whole week that you said I could review it. I'm going I'm to get a little bit of coin in there. And then, hey, you never know, five, ten years from now, I might be the next millionaire off of Sia coin. I don't even know if I'm saying it. Is it Sia coin, guys? Does anybody know? Anyways, guys, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did make it to this part in the video, please put in hashtag water and then leave the rest of your comment. Then I'll know that you made it. And it seems like more and more people are watching to the end and putting in these awesome hashtags, dude. And I, I don't know. Tell me what the next hashtag will be, what you want it to be. I want it to be random so people can't just guess it, you know, something easy. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Check out my boy, Red Panda. Thank you once again, bro. Love you so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. DJ Minds. Sun now.